Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Climbing the ladder, Football Manager 20, our journeyman save. Uh, so we're back. We're with our third club. This is episode three. The last episode, we left off with uh, start two, and we have beaten them 2-0. Uh, since then, we still had a pretty good run of form. I mean, we finished the season strong, guys. Uh, we played Sastra, and we had a 2-2 two, two draw. Uh, we did get uh, two goals from uh, Newt Thorgerson, uh, and uh, we had a two-to-one lead. And then we gave up an 87th-minute equalizer. That was that was brutal. Uh, then we played uh, Kisa. Uh, we won two-to-one. Gunnar Yerv and Jorgen Peterson with goals. Peterson's came in the 89th minute, just a couple of minutes after Gustafsson uh, equalized. Then we played Asker, thought we were going to lose this one. This is where I had said we might come back, but we were still. If we would have won both of these matches, it was possible to get into the playoffs. And I said, I almost came back, but I said, you know what? Let me play Asker. And we ended up with a 1 1 draw. We got the uh, Neslund penalty in the 30th minute. They got an equalizer uh, midway through the second half. And I knew that was troubling. And then we played Lilstrom, and uh, they beat us 2-0. Uh, Ness Lund with an own goal uh, sent us in, into uh, the loss. But uh, we weren't very competitive in this one. And then we came back and played Folio. Follow, follow. That's an L. I can't see sometimes. Two L's, not an L-I. That's follow, F-K. Uh, so we beat them 4-1. to one. Peterson with a goal, Craddock with a goal in a two-minute span. Uh, then uh, Askin has scored, and Rune Christie scored coming off the bench, a 4-1 win. So we're back for the finale today of the season, No Todden and Brumendahl. So let's just do a little catch-up here, I suppose. Uh, so they have extended our contract for another year, so that's good. They did that uh, right at the end of last episode, I believe. So that's going on. Did we sign anybody else? No, everybody was signed in August. We had brought in Thorgerson on a loan. I don't remember if he was on that episode or not. Uh, but he's a striker. Uh, really good. He got two goals in, in two league matches, uh, if you hadn't seen him. Uh, so he was the last player that we brought on. Finance-wise, we are uh, still $10,000 under our payroll budget. We have not touched our transfer budget, uh, but we're still losing money. So, I mean, even though I have that, I don't want to go crazy with it. So we're, we're you know, we're going to try to milk this uh, and keep our, keep our finances going in the right direction. Uh, so what else? I think that's it. Uh, do you guys want to take a look at the hierarchy real quick? So again, uh, leadership support is poor. I'm still in my first year. Uh, that will improve next year. Um, locker room's very good. Team cohesion is just average, but I mean, it's trending in the right direction. And I don't know if I am currently taking a class. I hope I am. Oh, I'm spineless. Really? Wow. Hello. National. Okay, I think that. No, because your national is what you start with. I think we go into what is it? Continental. So, yeah, I need to keep an eye out when I can uh, go for go for a uh, a badge again. All right. Well, anyway, we're back for no Todden and Brumendahl. So let's get to it. All right. We are at home. We are slight underdogs. So, I'm going to go with this tactic. So, what I've been playing is I've been playing this 4-4-2 when we're underdogs. Mainly on the road underdogs, but underdogs nonetheless. And I've been playing this when we're favorites. So, so that's what we're going to go with there. Uh, Karar, Berkland, Knutson, Lervik. So, you can see we don't have anybody with, you know cohesion mainly because we've got so many new guys uh, that we've brought in but that's okay you know we're trying to improve the squad and everything else they've lost three of their last five let's pile on the misery today <laughs> 
Newton didn't like that. All right. Hove throws it deep. Newton controls. Good clearance to Craddock. He brings it across into the attacking zone. Oh, nice ball. Selnes looking for space. Drops it off. Oh, cleared out. Askness controls it. Brings it back up. Oh, Yerb! Oh, what a save by Nias. N-Y-H-U-S. Nias. Interesting. Uh-oh. Mietti just blew past our fullback. Kavarv makes a nice save. I'm willing to bet that K is silent and just there to screw me up. Oh, Skogvold. What a move. Nobody was there and he couldn't turn the corner with it. Get creative. Oh, flick on header. Craddock. Oh, just wide of the mark. That was a nice attempt. Annihilus. Oh, it's blocked. Yerv into the box. Oh, the keeper came out and made the play. Oh, he sends it up into the stands. All right. We're looking we're looking dangerous. The finishing's not really there. All right. The old route one. And oh my god, another great save. Jeez. I don't know what was in the water, but I'm glad both keepers drank out of it today. All right, lumped in. Knudsen. Ugh. Right at the keeper. Come on, guys. Make him work a little bit. Make him work a little bit. All right, we win the header. Skogvold. Oh, nice touch. Into the box. He's got runners. And he got greedy. Demand more. Craddock. Skogvold. Look at the hustle on the other side of the field. Lumped in. And I'm guessing offsides or... But nothing happened. Either way. Oh! Off the woodwork! He saved that ball. Holy crap! Good hustle. Very impressed with the hustle. Craddock, the header. Thorgerson, his third goal of the season off the set piece. Nice. 1 0 lead. That was very, very solid. The striker goes up with the header. I thought, the, I was thinking that would be a center back doing that, but. All right, Selna's. Chested down. Yerv. He's got runners all around him. And he takes the shot from distance. Not good. Not good. 12 to 3. We're dominating statistically. Uh, let's see. Assertive. Things are going well. I know you're capable of better. Try finishing a little more. All right. Everybody's pretty fit here. Knudsen plays it over. Yerv. Ah, oh, flipped away by the keeper. Ah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Set piece. These make me nervous. Oh, Craddock goes up with the defensive header. Knocks it clear. A little pressure on. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at the control. Laid off Craddock making the run. You got him in the middle. Oh, God. Make a pass. Make a pass. All right, we're going to make a sub here. 
uh, Craddock for if I bring your back then I can bring which one do I want to bring on do I want to bring Peterson on or Summers I think I'm gonna bring Summers on here anybody else I want to pull out uh, ask Ms. Defensive left. Yeah, let's bring on Bortjeet for Askness. All right, Lervik picks up a yellow. There's Ber oh, Bortjeet loses it. All right. Oh, nice through pass to Skogvold. Oh, he was tackled from a little slide from behind, knocks it away. I thought there was a shot at a penalty there, but guess not. All right, lumped up. Come on, boys. Let's praise him. Oh, don't blow it. Don't blow it here. No, no. Oh, it flipped up into the stands. Whew. All right, come on, Lervik. Oh, through ball, Summer. He's wide open. If you would have just dropped the pass, he had an open net. An open net. Oh, what a save. Gee whiz. Um, wow. I didn't realize he was playing so poorly. If I dropped Skogvold there. Now there's really nobody. Nobody. Let's put Kimroon Christie in there. Can't play any worse. Well, I don't know if he made it in or not. All right, 22 to 8, 12 to 2 on target. 10 chances and we only got one goal. That's disappointing. But we got to win. We got to win. Um, well done, guys. A good win. Uh, you from a 6-6 six, six to a 6-0. Not happy with your performance today. All right. So what does that do for us? That gets us up into seventh position, 39 points. So we cannot catch. So Lillestrom cannot get promoted. They're one of those two teams, right? So Steinker's automatically, Asker's going to be in the playoffs, and nobody can catch them. With one match to play, they've, they've clinched the playoff berth. We can finish third. Well, I mean, third relatively, but we could we could finish fourth, you know, with a brand two loss or even a draw if we, if we can win. All in all, we're 15 points clear of relegation. I think that counts as fighting bravely. They're at 72% happiness, and they stayed at 50% there. Let's come back for the final match and wrap up the season, guys. We'll see you back here in a second. So we just got word that our U19 club won in the regional playoffs. They won, and they are advancing to the uh, promoted to the Norwegian National U19 Championship. So kudos to the youth on our club. And we are back for the finale, Brumendal football. 558 tickets sold. Uh, I'm doing a, a personal save uh, just to, you know, playing around and working with some tactics and stuff. But um, they're uh, in the uh, Vonorama South, same division that Eastbourne Borough uh, was in when we were with them. And uh, it's Oxford City. And we had just gotten promoted and I got, I took that job. 
and we stayed up the first season and they had to, they were renting, they were paying rent for the stadium in Oxford. They had to rent another, a new stadium the next year down in Maidenhead, which is, I had to Google it. It's about 45 minutes away, uh, southeast of Oxford. And uh, because the stadium that they were renting the, uh, the current year did not meet the qualifications. So evidently, when you go up for your first year, you can use your current stadium. And then if you stay up, they consider that you're entrenched and then your stadium has to meet the criteria. And so we had to rent, we have to rent another stadium and play our games in that stadium, even though we're not selling out the smaller stadium that we're at. So I don't know, that's, that's kind of weird, but all right. So we are back. Uh, let's see match preview. We're at home. We're favorites. So I want to go with this tactic today. All right. Thorgerson, Skogbold, Craddock, Yerv, Knutson and Lervik, Askness, Selznes, Neslund, Nielsen, and Kavarv. All right, boys, let's go out with a good, solid run to end the season. That would be fabulous. Uh, one loss in like the last two months. That's That's been really strong. Uh, very happy with that. It's over to all of you now. Have a good one. Morale's pretty good as it should be everybody's in good condition for both clubs not much in the way of activity not a single shot 15 minutes in 20 minutes in all right let's tell them to get creative all right both clubs are inspired broom dog gets the broom and dog gets the first shot all right, we get the first shots on target. All right, here we go. Craddock into the mixer. Oh, headed across, and Nielsen with the volley. Puts it into the back of the net. Gunner Yerv with the assist, and we're up 1-0. Very good. Let's give him some praise. Axniz is overwhelmed. Everybody else is doing well. All right. 16 fouls. Wow. But not a single yellow card. That's the way to do it, boys. That's the Leeds United way. <laughs> uh, guard against complacency. There we go. There we go. All right. Nielsen. A uh, little too far. Nobody's there. Oh, a dangerous pass back with the pressure that we that we put on. Thorgerson's offsides, I think. Pretty sure that's what happened there. All right, they've picked up a couple of yellows. All right, Yerv, back to Selnes. No, that was poor. Oh, no. Uh, he got in too close. Kavar made himself big with the block. All right. Your runs it down. Oh, I think he was going to give it over there. All right. Let's, uh, let's demand more. All right. They're focused. Come on, boys. Don't let this one get away. Let's make a sub here. You know, Lurvik's not playing well. Mid center. Let's bring in Rune Christie. And we'll drop. We'll drop. Uh, well, hmm. We'll bring in. Uh, let's. Oh, Craddock. Okay, that's the right. Nickel bust. Oh, we can move Skogbold out to the left. And then we can bring Mickle Bust in to the center. Let's do that. All right. Abek. No. Why? Why? No football player in the history of the world would do that. Would 
Oh my God, did you see the sacrifice to lay out for that ball? That was brilliant. Ah, oh, don't see that too often. All right, Skogvold. Oh, look at the deft. Oh, taken down. And Stia Neslund will take the penalty. Lines it up. Oh, just right inside the post. Beyond the keeper's outstretched arms. That's got to be the winning goal. Second goal of the season. I think both of his goals have come on penalties. Oh, that was beautiful placement. Oh, just look at that. Get it done. We're going to praise. And then immediately get booked. All right, let's do a sub off for Nielsen. Let's bring Matheson in for the yellow card. Oh, knocked away. Yerb, nice. Mickle bust. Oh, what a what a through ball. Thorgerson. Oh, just flipped away by the keeper. He just got enough of a hand on it. All the way through the box. Nobody there. No, good clearance. Oh, uh, good defense. He got stuck in there. Just hooked out of play. Uh, he made a he made a play on the ball. Par. Oh, uh, Matheson clears it out. Good job. Uh, nice little chest down. And I think that's one of those new graphics where he where he chest it down to himself. I, that's pretty nice. I don't recall really ever seeing that before. Well, that's a good through ball. I think the center back kept him on sides. Knocked away. Kavarv with the save. Come on, fellas. Let's tighten up. Oh, good defense to push it out. Come on, boys. You can do it. I just don't want them to score here and make it heart palpitation for the last minute of the match. Four minutes. Come on, boys. There we go. Headed down. Ah. Gave it away. Oh, uh, nice little one-two. Bertson. God, not in front of the goal. Jesus. <laughs> not in front of the goal. Could you imagine if we would have only been one goal up right then when that happened? Oh, uh, no, you always take that ball to the outside. Gee whiz. All right, he just couldn't get it past the defender. There we go. Just lump it down there. Make him chase it. A 2 nil clean sheet, hopefully. Plays it all the way back to Indrason. A good header. Now Roll picks it up. Egertson down the outside. Oh, a good chance for him. They had two guys cutting in, but nothing there. And a 2 nil clean sheet. Way to go, boys. So that pushes us up to sixth. Uh, Vin Biart won as well. Uh, you know, hey, sixth place, and all we were supposed to do is finish relegation, uh, avoid relegation, right? Uh, very pleased with the results. All right, let's see. So Steinker wins. Asker secures playoff spot. We finish uh, plus eight on goal differential. I would like to see that improve next year. So we lost on goal differential, but still, I mean, we were what we were what we were in relegation and we were negative ten or something like that when I took over, because we took over after the season started, right? So fight bravely against relegation. I think we did that. Fifteen points clear. 
very happy with that. And I mean, from from June twenty third, one defeat. I think that's stellar. I mean, you know, granted, early on, but isn't this about where we took over? I, I don't remember exactly where, but I want to say it was right around in here. Uh, you know, they were they were in poor form. So, I mean, basically, I only lost one match all year. That's what I'm going with. That's what I'm putting on my CV, right? <laughs> All right, well, that is, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, I'll skip ahead for a minute till we get to the end of season stuff. All right, so we are back. Uh, let's see. All right, two players have entered our best 11. Robert Craddock, 10 appearances, two goals, and Christian Axniz. There we go. All right. Jorgen Peterson, player of the season with 41%, our striker. Nielsen, 31%. Kavar, 14%. Uh, Kim Rune Christie had the goal of the season. I think that was the one that was uh, about 30 yards out. Well, that was the one just the other day um, against uh, Follow. Uh, Robert Craddock on a free was the signing of the season. And Dennis Knutson, player, uh, young player of the season. Yeah, I mean, so we were down in 13th at one point. We end up 6th. Average attendance, 33% capacity. 29 players used. All right, so we are in progress, not signing players over the over 30. Uh, in progress for five-year uh, is required. That's in progress. Minimum of two-year contracts. I think I've only been signing one because that's all they want. So, uh, end of next season, avoid relegation. Uh, new contract, so nothing there, but we'll accept that. Leadership support. So, that should be much better next year. Locker room is very good. Uh, so, let's see. The goal is to avoid relegation, so discuss plans. Um... I think we're in a good position to avoid relegation. And uh, there we go. Everybody's happy. Good morale. And they are on break. All right. So season starts when? We are at the end of October. Looks like we don't come back until April? Maybe March? All right. So... Uh, I will see you guys back for next season. Uh, don't know if, uh, you know, if anything comes up, like somebody offers us a job, we'll take a look at that. Uh, and otherwise, I'll be back for whatever match I determine to come back. I don't know if we'll come back for these cups or if we'll wait for some league matches or whatever. We'll see once I flip over. But, guys, I think that's a great end of the season. Let's go for a, a whopping six likes on this episode. If you, if you think we had a good season, hit the like button. If you enjoyed what I do, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys next season. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.